make sure that really you are going to teach and receive the teachings of Jesus Christ. Again, I want to make a prayer for those who are sick, for those who are having these evil tools in their bodies. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands or touch the screen of television. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command every sickness, every disease, and I command every evil tool to come out. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'm stopping all the pains. Receive your healing, your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Amen. Some of you, you are going to see those things coming out from your body. Know this truth. Jesus Christ doesn't play. He is the Lord. He is the King. Again, I want to make a prayer of those who are still saving the devil. You who are still saving the devil. In all these lines, know that your kingdom has fallen. Your kingdom has fallen. You know this truth. Now I want to make a prayer for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'm destroying all your tools. I'm destroying all your powers. I'm sending the fire Holy Spirit to burn all your powers, to burn all your tools. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, continue to reveal yourself to them. Because you have died for them. It's only that they have been deceived by Lucifer. I'm setting you free from all those chains and lies of the devil. In Jesus name. I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. And I'm welcoming everybody who is watching this program. Know that it's Jesus Christ who has prepared for you this program. Now is your time to learn, to know the new things. Again, it's your time to be taught by Jesus Christ himself. Get ready as the Lord Jesus Christ will be teaching us, making us to understand the scriptures. Because without the Holy Spirit, without Jesus, really we cannot understand the scriptures. So I'm welcoming you in the name of Jesus Christ. So, I will start by reading the scripture from the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 2. Let us read from 
verse 9, which says, However as it is written, No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has conceived what God has prepared for those who love him. Can we read also verse 10 and 11? It says, But God has revealed it to us by his Spirit. The Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. For who among men knows the thoughts of a man except the man's spirit within him? In the same way, no one knows the thoughts of God except the Spirit of God. Let us stop here. We will read again verse 12. But here in the scripture we have heard that God has revealed it to us by his Spirit. Here I want to tell you what really is happening in the whole world. We are in the World Restoration Service for World Peace by Jesus Christ. Here we see Jesus preparing for his coming by building his church, teaching his church, healing his children, saving and delivering many. Again, on the other side, we are seeing Jesus Christ exposing the kingdom of darkness. Embarrassing this kingdom because now we have arrived to the time of the end of the kingdom of darkness. That is why you are going to see the things which you have never seen. Again, you are going to hear the things which you have never heard. Know that is God himself through his spirit who is revealing all this. Jesus Christ says, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. What is needed here for the deliverance of the whole world is the truth only. After you have known the truth, then you will receive the deliverance. This is the scripture. So here I want to show you what's really happening in the kingdom of darkness. Again, also in the church of Jesus Christ. In the kingdom of darkness, Jesus, the one who came down and died and rose again, he is closing the doors of the kingdom of darkness. Let me tell you, the darkness has fallen. Babylon has fallen. Those who are saving this kingdom, they know this truth. They know. Because the kings in the darkness, and those who were principalities, they are no longer there in their positions. What happened? The Lord Jesus Christ himself, he has taken them away. When I'm speaking now, they are in prison waiting for the final judgment. You will hear about that in the future. But now, I want to tell you that really we are in the end time. It's better to repent and accept this truth of Jesus, then you will be saved. So whatever you are going to watch in this program, know that it is Jesus Christ who is revealing the deep secrets of the kingdom of devil. You have to know that here in the kingdom of God, we have Jesus Christ as the king. On the other side of the kingdom of the devil, 
there is Lucifer who is the king of the darkness. These two kingdoms, they are not on the same position because the kingdom of God is an unshakable kingdom, everlasting kingdom. So now we are going to see how Christ is exposing the darkness, how Christ is embarrassing the darkness. Look at your screen now. She's vomiting the waste of human. Is it normal? All of us, we have this truth that this is not normal. Why she is vomiting the waste of human being? It's because in the darkness, they've been taught by the devil, Lucifer, who is the king of the darkness, to eat also human ways. You can see now that the kingdom of the devil is so cruel. The kingdom of the devil is the kingdom which is having many confusion. This kingdom of the devil, the darkness, immediately when you hear about the darkness, know this is the devil and with his evil works. She is eating human's way which is really abnormal. Here is when Christ is embarrassing the kingdom of the devil. He wants to teach the whole world the truth. Let me tell you this truth. According to Jesus, this is the beginning. You are still going to see great things and we are going to see Christ shaking this world by the truth. And Jesus Christ said, he is going to shake the whole world by the truth. Why? Because he is the truth. The Bible says, the Lord Jesus Christ, he is the truth, the way, and the life. And he wants to deliver you by the truth. In the kingdom of darkness, there is a department of the devil worshippers. These are people who are deceived by the devil. And then the devil taught them to kill, to destroy, to steal. We know that this is the purpose of the devil. The devil taught them that they must do evil. That is why now you are seeing this lady vomiting human waste, which means Christ is embarrassing the kingdom of the devil because all of us know that according to our minds and according to the studies of this world it's impossible for a human being to vomit the waste let us remember where is the intestine which carries the waste of a human being it's very far we know that really a person cannot vomit his or her waste so here the matter is, she's eating human waste. So we are learning something, really. We are learning here. So understand these evil works of the kingdom of the devil. Then you will love the Lord, your God, with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul. Because the kingdom of God is very clean and Jesus Christ himself is the king and he's holy.
What is coming out there are waste, the real waste. And there is that bad order like any other waste. Amen. Hallelujah. What is coming out there is what the pastor says the people are. Those are waste. Those are the stools from the toilet. The real stools. The real stools. The real stools. Those are stools. Stools. Those are stools. Those are stools. Waste from the toilet. It means that that person is busy. Uh, Giving out waste by the mouth. Those who are in darkness, the darkness is bad, really. Is bad. Go unto that kingdom of darkness. Jesus Christ has started war. Those who are waiting for the kingdom of darkness, things are upside down. Did you see the waste coming out by the mouth? Mm. It's bad. Just say ha. It's it does, it does not happen to a, a, any other person. It happens to a person who is fighting with God. If you are fighting against God, the waste will come through your mouth. This is not the time to fight against God. The time of fighting with God is finished. You cannot fight against God in, in his own world. You are the one who is going to fall in the pit. Who in earth can, can be able to do what is happening? Say, people, hear God and repent. We must not play to God and we must not even take chances to God.
again, learn something. We see also the line of the Rastafarians. The Lord Jesus Christ said he's going to expose the root of Rastafarians. All of us, we are going to know how this Rastafarians started. This is Jesus. Can we continue reading the scripture again? Let us go back to our first scripture which we have read. First Corinthians chapter 2. Verse 12 says, we have not received the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, that we may understand what God has freely given us. What God has freely given us. It is good to understand that Jesus Christ has come as a gift for me and